a quick walkthrough through the Socrative website and their quick questions feature. So as you can see, I am at Socrative.com and I'm going to click teacher login. Now, if you've never logged in before, you can click get a free account and you will be asked to fill in all that information. Alternatively, even if you don't have an account, you can click sign in with Google if you are signed into your Google account. And that's what I'm going to do right now. So you can see the first thing it brings me to is this page. Now, I've logged in before, so I've created a room ID, T-S-S-T, -S -S Tech Savvy Science Teacher, but you can create any sort of room ID that you want and know that it will stay the same every single time. So you just need to tell it to your students once, although let's be honest, you'll have to tell it to them multiple times, but you know, eventually they'll start remembering it and many of the people will know what it is. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click quick questions right here. Now, this gives me the option to do a quick multiple choice question, true false question, or short answer question. And right here I can see how many people have joined my class. So what your students are gonna do is they're gonna go to the website b.socrative.com and this can be from any device that is web enabled and there are even apps for Windows, um, Android, and um, iOS, sorry. So there you're going to type in the room number. What they're going to see is something like this, A, B, C, D, E, because I have chosen multiple choice for them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose what I want. And notice you can have, if it's an A and B type question, you can have more than one. Then I'm going to click Submit Answer. Now it says I'm waiting for the teacher. So now on my teacher view, I'm seeing that one person has joined and I'm seeing the results here. Now you will see this populate in real time if there are more students here. So I get all my information, I you know talk it out to the class, and then I can just go and click another multiple choice question and the students would see this again. True false question asks them to choose true or false, and short answer gives them a short little line you get to choose, can they answer this once or multiple times, and if they need to put their name in or not. So I'm just gonna start this one so you can see what this looks like from a student's point of view. So this is what a student sees. They just see a blank box, and maybe I ask them what their favorite color is, so they would say, my favorite color is blue. Oops. Submit answer. Now I only said they can do this once, so they're not getting another chance to put other um, answers in, but they can if you want to give them that option. So now the teacher view, I am seeing the answers that they put, and I had chosen anonymous so that they didn't have to put their names in. When I'm all done, I'm gonna click finish. Now I can easily see a report or go back to the dashboard. So I'm gonna click on get reports and it's going to ask me what I want. Um, being that there's only one student, I am not able to use these other options, but I'm gonna click whole class Excel, and then you can choose to download it or send it to Google Drive. So I'm just gonna choose um, download. And what that's gonna do is that is going to download a file for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And you can see now I would get a list of all of the things that are there. So you can see how this is a super easy way to just pull students on the fly. You don't need to pre-program in any answers or any questions or anything like that. You can just pull the students right then and there and there's very little setup because they don't need to create accounts or anything like that. So I hope this was enjoyable and helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or put them in the comments below and let me know what other types of videos you'd be interested in seeing. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.